Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome to another thought wall video from Electrical Installation Triple E. Uh, we are gonna do a thought wall video about why um, the separate we have a separation between the neutral and the grounds. Yeah, because we have um, people tend to ask why this the neutral separate from the grounds. A lot of people miss the whole point about the separation of the neutral bar and the earth bar. Um, First, we have to know the purpose of the neutral um, and the earth wire. We have to know the difference. The neutral wire is a current carrying conductor, just like a, a live wire, and should be treated like a live wire at all times. The neutral wire should be treated like a live wire at all times. Yeah, why you have to take it into consideration is the fact that the neutral wire completes the circuit. Because if you have a bulb in the, in the socket, and you you switch on the the, the, um, the switch then it become active because um there is power right there so if you screw that bulb it would be dead but once the light come on it get active so you have to take that into consideration and bear that in mind that the neutral wire have a maximum amperage and a minimum voltage and you have to bear that in mind and cheat it like a live wire the neutral wire so that's it for the neutral wire now i'm going to explain about the grounds wire now the grounds wire is all about safety um what it does is, is to get rid of um leakage and uh in other words carrying excess um electricity or electrical charge to the ground or to the hurt um, below which um, has a negative um, electrical charge so the ground wire normally get rid of waste current most in other words we call it waste current or leakage the ground wire get rid of that um, to the hurt which have a negative charge the earth terminal always connected to a body of a metal panel or a metal box so that's where that's why you always have it right there because it's for waste to get rid of waste so at all time you will see the, the ground wire and the and the and, and the body of a panel or in a, a, a metal box so both of them both the neutral and the ground carry um zero um voltage so you can see where they're both related so um, I'm going to go into this video now and show you some things about the neutral bar and the ground bar. So this is just an uh, example of a breaker panel. We're going to, we're going to use this sub panel to just uh, identify what we're talking about, about the grounds and the, the neutral. This right here is the grounds bar. So you notice it connected to the body of the panel. And this is one, I want to explain this to some of the viewers. This right here is a link from the ground to the to the to the neutral mean. So you can see it right here where it runs behind. That is a link. Some panel normally have it right here, like you would have it across. The, the, the neutral bar will be right on this side and the ground on this side, and then you would have a link. Yeah. You would have a link right there. Go across. So you can see where we carry our grounds wire to this wire right here and the new gel right here. But another thing that I want to explain to you guys is Yes, some people ask me a lot of time why you link this right here. As I said before, the neutral wire can be active at times because it completes the circuit. And it linked to the you have the link to the, the ground bar which get rid of waste current um to the earth but one thing i want to talk about in this video is the fact that area of the main neutral from the the power supply and we have the main grounds from the power supply as well right here so we have both the main neutral and the main grounds um coming in from the power supply Go into this main log right here and then we have the link which link right here okay why people christian me about this is that um the christian people ask me about this is, is it necessary because both the neutral wire right here and the ground wire right here 
go right into the meter socket and connect it to the same bar outside because this building has only one earth rod so someone asked me that that basically seems as if you double the neutral wire or the ground wire and to be honest it's a fair question um but we just have to follow rules and protocol because if you have the meter box on the back of this wall right here and you have the breaker box right here and you're gonna use one hurt rod to me personally i don't think it's necessary to run if you're gonna run the the, the new the hurt wire to the main lock because in jamaica i don't know another country but in jamaica we carry our main earth to the neutral bar along with the neutral um, wire as well and then we link it from there to the ground but then we used to carry the main earth to the main um earth lock or earth bar and then link it but now we carry it both in there so i get the point when that person asks me that the meter is on the back of this wall and you have the panel right here and you have one hurt rod but yet you run a ground wire from the meter on the same bar connected to the same bar in the meter with the main neutral and you connect it back into the panel honestly it's a fair question and it's a question that deserves an answer maybe i don't have the answer for that but to me personally it seems as if that wire basically double you basically double the neutral wire or you double the hurt wire and i would like someone to come in on that to be honest but we have we have to do things by their rules and so forth so i get it and i understand it and i think it's a fair question i need someone to comment on it and explain that to me but i can explain it the best way i can uh, if you have a, a, a the meter socket on the back of this wall which you're going to use like maybe this length of, of wire neutral wire and the hurt wire to link both panels you're basically doubling the hurt or the neutral personally to me but what i can explain to you is that the new the hurt wire is very essential neutral wire also very essential in a circuit because the neutral wire completes a circuit so it carry minimum um voltage but maximum amperage while the the ground wire ca and carry minimum voltage and no amperage at all so they're both related as you can see and the ground wire very 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 important because it prevents shocks and so forth and you can um it carry excessive current and waste current um and get rid of it while the ground as i said before the neutral complete circuits so yeah that is why you have the separation of the neutral and the earth bar in a breaker panel so guys please comment on my video share my video please share my video like my videos electrical installation please please subscribe to my channel and ask me any question you want to ask me electrical installation um thanks for watching another video and please guys share my video